Welcome to the Super Wheel, one of the fastest Ferris wheels with a dizzying speed of 4 revolutions a minute. As you will see, this wheel will make 4 complete revolutions in the duration of 60 seconds. Today we will learn how calculus plays a large role in analyzing factors of the Ferris wheel such as distance and velocity. To get started, here's the problem. On a Ferris wheel, your distance f of t feet from the ground varies sinusoidally with the time t in seconds when the wheel starts rotating. And here's the information that you need to know about the Ferris wheel. Its diameter is 50 feet and its axle is 30 feet off the ground. It makes 4 revolutions per minute and 5 seconds after it starts, the seat you are sitting in reaches its highest point. In part A of this problem, we are asked to write the equation which represents the distance of the seat from the ground for f of t. So this is the equation for a sinusoidal axis problem. The sinusoidal axis is a long line y equals c, the amplitude equals the absolute value of a, the period equals 2 pi over the absolute value of b, and the phase displacement equals d. This gives us the equation f of t equals c plus a cosine b times the quantity of x minus d. The vertical displacement for this problem is 30, which is c, which is the length of our axle. The amplitude is 0.5 times 50, and 50 is our diameter, which gives us 25, which is a. The phase displacement for cosine is 4, which is d, which is our revolutions per minute. The period is 60 over 4, and 4 is our revolutions per minute. That gives us 15, which is b, and we plug it into the period, which is 2 pi over 15 equals b. This gives us the equation f of t equals 30 plus 25 cosine 2 pi over 15 times the quantity of x minus 4. In part b, we are asked to write the derivative, which represents the rate at which the distance is changing of f of t. The derivative of f of t is f prime of t, and since 30 is a constant, the derivative of a constant is 0. And then you do the derivative of the inside function. So you do 25 times 2 pi over 15, and then you multiply that by the derivative of the outside function. So it becomes negatives. So then you multiply by negative sine 2 pi over 15 times x minus 4. And then you end up with negative 10 pi over 3 sine 2 pi over 15 times x minus 4. In part C, we are asked, when t equals 20 minutes, is the distance of the seat from the ground increasing or decreasing? Once we have the function f prime of t, we can plug in t as 20, and then you get negative 10 pi over 3 sine of 2 pi over 15 times 20 minus 4. This results with negative 10 pi over 3 times sine of 2 times 16 pi divided by 15. From there, you get negative 10 pi over 3 times the sine of 32 pi over 15. Um, when you use the calculator to calculate the value, you get negative 4.259 feet per second. From here, we can tell that f of t is decreasing because f prime of t is negative. <laughs>